Good day. Welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Michael Klomp and I'm a technical support consultant at Procon. Today I'm going to illustrate the first part of making use of Probar 2D's Beam Wizard. This video will demonstrate reinforcing detailing using the Continuous Beam module, importing a Continuous Beam design file using the Beam Wizard, the utilization of Probar 2D's Modify Wizard, and lastly, the plotting and scheduling of rebar entities. To find the dimensions of various sections along the length of the beam. Specify the various span lengths for the continuous beam. Next, define the support fixities by specifying column heights and the end conditions. Notice how to specify a cantilever or a fixed end condition. Toggle to the reinforcing parameters detailing table. Specify all of the input parameters for the beam detailing and then generate the reinforcing. Use the delete bars button to remove any bars that are not required and once complete, renumber all the bars. Use the input table provided and add all of the main reinforcing. Once complete, ensure that the entered bending reinforcement is greater than the required bending reinforcement. Next, define the type, diameter, and shape code of the stirrups used to prevent shear. Then, determine whether shear reinforcing is required. Once again, ensure that the entered shear reinforcement is greater than that of the required shear reinforcement. Determine at which position along the length of the beam you would like a section to be defined. Make sure that the horizontal offset illustrates all of the bars in that section by making use of the horizontal offsets table. A negative horizontal offset is defined to the left of the beam and a positive horizontal offset is defined to the right of the beam. Toggle to the 3D view tab to ensure that all the reinforcing is defined correctly. Save the continuous beam file so that all of the detailing information can be further used. In Probar 2D, Select the beam wizard and import the continuous beam file. Click OK and paste the continuous beam in AutoCAD's model space. Probar 2D allows you as the user to make changes to the design by making use of the modify wizard. Lastly, 
inspect the planning schedule and paste all of the details in AutoCAD's model space. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications.